in Pro League this season, two and one. And overall, he's 23 and 30, so he hasn't yet broken even. But he seems to be getting closer and closer right now. Also notably uses a 10 keyless keyboard, as you guys can see, uh, taking the numpad off. So a little bit smaller of a keyboard. I have a stylistic choice, gives you a little bit more space on your desk. Yep, that was a keyboard I actually didn't know about. And when you guys were talking about that one time when we were out, and I was like, what is that? I don't know what that is. And you guys uh, aware of me. But um, regardless, Kira's going to be up against this Paradox, your creator. He's 9 and 6 so far. He's shown that he's definitely one of Prime's biggest guys here, if not the biggest. And uh, he has a very, very good chance to take this. Yeah, he does. Uh, I mean, he's a solid Protoss. He's gold for a reason. With how many good Protosses we have in Pro League, the fact that he's one of them really says a lot, despite the fact that his team has not done well. He has done very well. He's uh, very close to the top of the winner's ranking as well. So this matchup is really important. If Creator is able to take this, maybe he can swing the momentum back into Prime's favor. If not, Cure is going to take that early 2-0 lead, and things are going to look desperate for Prime. Down here in the south, in the green for Jin Air Green Wings, the Terran player, Cure. Using that 10 keyless keyboard, his opponent to the top of the map of our gold process, top of the winner's ranking, it's Creator. And uh, they want Prime to take two wins in yeah, a row. That's what they want. And he wants heart a heart ceremony. ceremony. Somebody was talking about that uh, backstage. I'm not exactly sure what the heart ceremony is, but... Uh, I'm guessing it's just putting a heart over your head, right? Or Maybe. You know the Korean where you, where you use both arms? Yeah, like uh, like the dog from Kakao Talk yeah, that yeah. does that. We Pig have baby a, fan right there. Yeah, Pig. we have people wearing these Mickey Mouse kind of ears here with uh, taped onto them is their favorite team or player. Yeah. It's pretty interesting. <laughs> Never seen that before. Yeah, that's certainly so. Uh... We talked about the 10 keyless keyboard. Um, a 10 keyless keyboard is appealing for a lot of people because it uses less desk space. You have your mouse a little bit closer to your keyboard hand a lot of the time. Um, it's also a little bit more transportable. So because you don't really use the number pad when you play games uh, competitively, generally speaking, unless you have like some crazy macro stuff and you're playing like an MMO, uh, generally you don't use a number pad. So it's a keyboard that a lot of gamers like to use. And it's usually more expensive than other keyboards. I like to use brown switches on mechanical keyboard. I still use my old Sky Digital keyboard that I was given um, by the old TSL coach, Coach Lee, and they were sponsored by that a long time ago. You use, like, non-mechanical keyboards, right? I used the keyboard that was given to me um, in, you know, that came with my computer. That's that's where I'm at right now. Back at home, I had a QSEN. Yeah. You didn't bring that with you to Korea. I didn't bring it, no. Um... I, have, I, like, I actually had my laptop, which died on the plane right over here. And then I was like, oh, well, I guess I just don't have a computer. And I actually didn't have a computer here for like a year. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, and, was and, and the thing is, you also didn't have a phone with service. So the only way that I could communicate with you was with your phone that only got Wi-Fi. Like, imagine, like, Brendan's got an iPod Touch, and that's the only way I can talk to him. <laughs> yeah, it's, it was terrible. That's the only way I could find you. I remember when you came back to Korea, you didn't have a phone, you were, like, trying to find my house. <laughs> that was pretty fun. I was, like, on a hill trying to carry my piano, my giant keyboard that's, like, one of the expensive ones, like, up the up the hill, and I just, like, couldn't text you. And I was like, oh, God. I used to live on top of a mountain, guys, and then <laughs> on the top of the mountain, when you got there, everyone would be like, yeah, sure, I'll come over to your place. We can hang out. Right? They go, they climb up the top of the mountain in the Little summer. Little did they know. I mean, little did they know. They get up to the top. They're sweating. It's it's so gross. They're like, oh, God, I'm finally here. And then they get to the top, and they're like, oh, so your house is here. And I'm like, yeah. Now, I'm on the fourth floor. <laughs> We're going to have to walk up four flights of stairs, and then when you get there. No elevator. There's no elevator, and you have to walk up another flight of stairs once you get to the door that you think is mine, because that's my <laughs> landlord's house. Now, going back into this game, uh, this Reaper doesn't have to climb up the, the stairs. He can just hop into the main base. He checks the location of all the pylons. Now, for Cure, he doesn't really have to worry about Creator doing any sort of cheesy, uh, you know, or all-in means. He's going to see this robotics, and this is exactly Creator style. Creator style is, yeah, I'm going to put the robotics right in your face. I do not care if you see it because I'm playing macro, and I'm going to beat you in a late game. 
Similar to Rain, you see Rain do this all the time where he just like drops the, the robo, maybe a little bit less often than Creator. Creator's will, you know, pretty much never gonna do, you know, a, a Oracle build, but Rain will like occasionally mix that in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and even Cure is now checking behind. Like he comes in near the Reaper again. He's like, you can cancel that, right? Okay. <laughs> I'm serious. That's what he's doing. Yeah, and now yeah. he sends a, a Marine around the back of his natural to make sure there's no proxies there either. Like, he's not going to get DT dropped. He is super safety mode right now. Yeah, like, no chance. It's almost like he's not convinced. Even though he is going up against Creator, he's like, well, I just want to make sure, sure, like, sure, sure, sure. And that's a great way to play. Yeah. I mean, it, your Marine is going to be standing there doing nothing anyway. It's not like you're using an SCV to scout there, you know. It's just getting that Marine all the way around and... He's even going up the left side of the map, as you guys can see in the mini-map. Yeah, and with a Mothership Core's Vision nerf, you don't see it used for scouting that much more often anyway, so he expects that it's probably not coming across, but even with his Reaper further sees that it's not coming across the map, so he doesn't need that Marine at home, and he knows with, with no Oracles coming, that one Marine is not that important anyways. Now, what we're seeing from Cure here with the fast triple barracks is he's got a ton of Marine production, and he's got a few Marauders in this mix as well. But he's going to come over here and try to force out that overcharge and then walk back. It's a very standard Terran pressure move here. And Creator's kind of uh, expecting this, looking around with the probe right now, just trying to make sure um, you know, there's, there's nothing hidden from him. Yeah, and Creator making a bunch of these gateways. He's going to have five as well as that robotics. He's pumping out these immortals as well. He's hiding them. He does not have the immortal at the front. He's going to have to bring it here to defend, maybe. Maybe just force out that photon overcharge like we were talking about. And Force Cure out. Yeah, three shots to kill a Marine there. Let's get that one down. I would like to see him hide the Immortal, because I think he's trying to do an Immortal all in here. Yeah, he's still hiding the Immortal. He's actually cut probes very early. Yeah, he's doing a bust. He's at 33. This is pretty unlike Creator. I love that he's changing up his style. This is this is what I like to see. And I've said this, I know a lot. Now he's going to show the Immortals, but guess what? If he traps and kills this army, the game is over anyways, because it's not going to be enough to get home. And a great triple force field there. Stim is not done. There's no escape. And Cure is in trouble. Well, here come a few more warpins at that forward pylon. Two moles moving across the map. Three bunkers coming up. Begs the question, are they too late? It seems like they're going to get up in time, but when you're going up against Immortals, the Immortals do so, so much damage against buildings. 41 to 25 army supplies. So many sentries to block those SCVs out. Here we go. Force field number one, two, three. Those bunkers are not complete, Brandon. One falls. The second one is loaded. He needs to make sure he targets this well. And it looks like he's going to wait for a few more warp ends before he commits to the next attack. Four Zealots is actually what he chooses. A baited stim there. Yeah, baits out the stim, and there are no medevacs yet. Cure is pulling all of his SCVs from the natural right now to stay right by those bunkers to make sure he has those repairs here. A lot of force fields are used already. I don't know, man. This is scary. I don't know if he can break through. The worker count is 42 to 33. And don't forget that with the mules, the lost mining time on these SCVs is not that important. Here we go. Targets down the left bunker first. Time warp goes down. And it looks like he's going to break through the second bunker. Now he's target down the left one. Will he get it? It's being heavily repaired here, but I think it's going to eventually fall. Or Still is it? Still has not fallen. Oh my god, he's targeting it now. It finally goes down, but a lot of creators' army is going down. But is it enough? That is the question. Time Two warp Two medevacs are trying to come down, but it looks like it's going to be enough. He's going to push through here. He's going to do it, man. Those two medevacs you mentioned, just a bit too slow to the party. Now the SCB is off the line. Try to come down here. And you know, it was great for Cure to try to identify what Creator was doing. He checked everything. He saw the robotics. He felt confident. He felt content that Creator was just going to play like he always does with that robo. But guess what? He got Immortal busted. And you know, he's trying to make a last stand here. There's not a whole lot of zealots with this army just now. But here come the reinforcements. And I'm pretty sure that's going to be just quite enough to kill Cure here. Combat shields do not matter. Medivac's even trying to like tank some sots here. I don't think it's gonna, it's gonna change the game. No, Kira's just trying to micro his way out of this, but with one SCB, it's not gonna happen. Three Medivacs here trying to do their best, but the last of Kira's army is going to go down. He has been busted. That's that's a, that's quite literally the best way to put it, man. He's been busted in every sense of the word. GG, Creator will tie up the series 1-1. This new Creator, this new unpredictable Creator, is, is now the reason why he has uh, some of the most wins in Pro League. And this is a new pro gamer. This is, we're actually just witnessing the end of his rebirth as a player. Oh, he did the heart ceremony. There it was, you guys got to see it. So uh, that's, 
That's an awesome win. That's one of those wins.